Welcome back to Alan's Trains at Stockton Station and I'm now back in the bunker looking at another problem with an Inkscape to design space issue. This relates specifically to window frames and follows on from my previous video. In this video I'm again using the free scale scenes kit, the Weybridge and Call Office. And we're going to look at this time extracting these window frames and sending them to design space. The first thing I'm going to do is surround these two window frames. I'm then going to drag them onto this sheet. I'm then going to zoom in so I can see them a bit clearer. And first of all, remove any material that you don't want, such as the print, like that. Next, remove any of the backing colours. Until you're left with the bare frames. So we'll just get rid of those masks. And at this point, I'm going to save that as an Inkscape file. But what I need to do is I need to copy that and then send it to another new document. So we then get another new document in Inkscape and then paste what we just brought along and we'll zoom into that as well so that we can see the window frames. I'm now going to rename that file and save as And I'm going to save this as file 60. Theoretically, we should now be able to send that file straight to design space. So we'll open the Crycut machine. We'll upload file 60. And as you can see, nothing loads into Design Space. So we'll cancel that and go back to our drawing. In previous uh, videos, I've actually drawn around these to show that if you draw around them, then put them into Design Space, it works. But that's not the cure. If we take a look at one of these frames, so we'll just delete one. We only need one for this video. As in the previous videos, we looked at the fact that when we went to stroke paint, it wasn't in RGB like I've got this. And it also needs to be set at zero in each of the colours. So make sure yours is in RGB and zero. And if it isn't, then it will be under CMS and then go to RGB. Now everything in there, if you click on them separately, should come up as those colours. And you will have noticed that it is a lot clearer to see. If we now send that to Design Space, so File Save, then go back to the Crycut Design Space, Upload, Upload the Image, File 60 again, and nothing. This has caused quite a bit of confusion for people. So let's go back to the Inkscape. And we'll now look at what the problem is. If you highlight this, in the bottom corner, bottom left corner, you will see fill and stroke and it shows not applicable because you're not surrounding the object. So if we now object, it will show the stroke is showing, but no fill is identified. So click on fill and press on the cross, no paint. So now when we click on the object, 
we should see a black circle with, uh, sorry, a white circle in a black square, fill none, and the stroke black. Now save the file. Now go back to Crycut. Design space, upload. Upload the image. Bring in file 60. You now have the window frame. We'll upload that. Add it to the canvas. And there it is. It's probably not the size you want, but you can resize that to wherever you, you please. Let's just increase that size to five centimeters so we can see it's there. Then it will show black. When you click on it, click attach. Then make it. You will now see the window frame quite clearly on the Crycut machine, ready to be printed or ready to be cut. So I hope that's helped. As I said before, long winded explanation, but here is the result and you've actually got window frames. So I hope this helps with all of your scale scenes, PDFs, down to Inkscape and into Crycut Design Space.